Okay, so the file's now downloaded and we are going to go and go through the install process. So double click and uh, accept and run, yes please. Let that install. Bum, 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 bum. I've actually got an SSD hard drive installed, so um, hopefully this will go through quite quick. Um, if you have an SSD hard drive installed, then hopefully yours will go through quite quick. If not, then it may take some time. Okay, so do you want to allow the program? Yes, please. Okay. Please wait while SQL Server does its thing. Right, here we go. So this is your uh, SQL Server installation center. Okay, we've got some options here. What we want to do is install a uh, new installation or add features to the existing installation. So we're going to click that as we want a new installation or we would like a new installation. Again, wait for our install to sort itself out. Please wait. Let's minimize this window, get it out of the way. Let's drag this one over here. Okay, do we want to accept the terms? We would like to, yes. Would we like Microsoft to send uh, feature usage data to us? Or would we like to send feature usage data to Microsoft? Then the answer to that would be no thanks, not yet anyway. Click next. Okay. tick let's put pause on until this is done okay that's done its thing and it's now presented as with the feature selection window uh, I select everything um, in here we've got the engine services etc etc so you know then we've got the management tools and client connectivity SDK SDK is actually a software development kit so I like to select everything uh, just in case you know I wouldn't want to miss out on anything here's your directories where your program is going to go so you can change that um, to obviously to your C drive your D drive E F whatever wherever you've got the most space click next okay please wait that'll install <coughs> Okay, okay, and now we've got um, our instance names again. We just leave this alone and click next. Okay, okay. So now we have our account names and um, our login types. So just leave this as default. Click next. Right, what we've got here, we've got two two methods to log into the database. We've got one using Windows Authentication Mode, which is the uh, username and password um, that Windows uses when you log in. So if you, for example, don't have a username and password and you select Windows Authentication Mode, when you go into the server, make sure you've got the Authentication Mode selected and click Next, it will just log straight in um, automatically for you. Um, if you log in using a Windows username and password, then it will use that Windows username and password to log in again automatically for you. Um, but what I suggest you do is go to mix mode so you can actually toggle between Windows authentication mode within the login screen or you can have a um, classic username and password scenario. Um, here you've got to specify the password for the SQL Server System Administrator SA account so you'll be presented with an account name SA when you log into the server and you have to prevent a present a password for that so um, I suggest you create um, a unique password um, doesn't have to be too strong uh, unless you're going to make uh, this server public accessible and then of course you want to protect it as best you can okay devman niguel that's me okay so leave that alone click next right so send windows and sql server reports to microsoft or your corporate report server no thank you next okay now we've got the installation progressing so I'm going to put the uh, put the video on pause for now until it's uh, installed and then I'll come back um, once the installation is done on the next uh, window. Hello and welcome back and as you can see it's still ticking along nicely and I've been waiting now for approximately a minute um, so uh, this is going to take a little while so again we will plonk the video on pause and we will be right back. Okay welcome back that took oh, two three minutes um, 
uh, this is now the screen we've got uh, basically installation is completed successfully so we will close that okay so that's done um, now you need to go to your start menu go to the Microsoft SQL Server 2008 R2 directory and uh, select and launch the SQL Server Management Studio so we'll just do that okay once you've uh, launched the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio um, you've got this connector server box and the server name should be your PC name with a backslash followed by SQL Express um, and then your authentication method is Windows Authentication uh, incidentally if you don't know what your um, PC name is then you can get it from the command prompt um, by going into your Windows box type in CMD under the run launch a command prompt okay like so and then type <coughs> excuse me host name okay and then you go devman okay so prefix devman then do forward slash sql express okay um, earlier on i was mentioning to you uh, during the install process that you've got uh, the um, two modes of login where you can use the um, windows authentication and login automatically or you can actually specify um, and then you select here the two account types so windows authentication or server authentication okay so under server authentication uh, you can type SA which was I believe the uh, server um, authentication name and then you put in the password that you entered for the server um, uh, administrator here and um, so we put ours in and then we'll connect um, and that'll connect okay so either or um, I'm going to go in as the server administrator and do it that way then I've got um, uh, server administrator control connect okay so that worked what I'll do is um, we'll connect again to a database engine and but this time I'm going to go through Windows authentication connect just to show that both ways work okay so we've got both in here we've gone in as administrator here we've gone in as uh, our local account name okay so let's close that down a minute because I don't want those to open and then we'll go back and launch our um, management studio and we'll go back in under Windows authentication connect there we go okay so down here on the left hand side we've got a bunch of menus we've got some folders okay the important one here is your database folder pop that open you'll see you've got zip databases in there at the moment other than some um, basic system databases so uh, you can manually create a database here by right clicking and going new database okay we've got this and we can give our name um, demo db okay and the owner is going to be default owner which is ours okay just click ok add uh, sorry um, remove that click OK okay so then we've got our demo database up here we can pop that down and you can see we've got tables um, programmability which is where you would add things like store procedures etc etc but we're not really interested in that at the moment because we just want to add a table okay right click table click new table okay and then we end up with this blank table template and then here you can type in your column name you can we'll call this one um, name then the type which is going to be variable character varchar that's to uv varchar okay and then we'll change safe well we'll leave 50 that'll be okay that means it's going to do a variable length character string um, up to a maximum of 50 characters uh, I don't know many names that are greater than 50 characters so that'll be fine for us and then in here we will put um, oh, ID ID <coughs> excuse me and we'll make that um, let's make that an integer okay and then in here we'll call one quantity and we'll give that an integer also dum, 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 if I can find it there we go and that'll do okay so that's the table created very simple and then we can kill that we don't want that anymore uh, save changes to the following items yes please uh, what do we want to call the table um, we'll call it our table table okay that's it so our table should be in the database and if you look over here you'll see it is if you right click on our table now and then look down here on the top of the menu you can see you've got select top 1000 rows or edit top 200 rows so you can actually click top edit top top 200 rows that means you can now go in here and edit things so here for example we can type in our name 
um, so we can type in my name and then we can type in an ID for me which will be one and then how many of me are there one okay hit enter and that's committed to the database and then we can add another entry you and we'll give you an ID two and how many of you there are one actually lots um, but <laughs> it's probably millions uh, okay enter okay so that's now in the database okay so again we can kill this okay and then if we go up to our database and then we go right click and we go edit or select 1000 rows at the top okay and then here at the bottom you can see your entries in the database this is just a simple function which we've because we've done a um, we went right click and when we went select um, it's actually created a script for you a SQL script um, so if you if you actually type this in you would get this temporary table up okay so there's two ways of getting this table up one is by selecting it as we've done using SQL scripts what we'll do is we'll copy this out control C um, and I'll show you something in a minute but first I want to kill this go back to our database our table uh, right click it and then say edit top 200 rows and you can see we've gone straight to the table now with no SQL script and you can see your data in there and we can actually pull that out now and we can edit that using um, our Excel application later on um, before before we go any further what I wanted to do was to um, show you um, about the uh, script and how to show that table temporarily using a script okay so um, what we need to do is click this little button up here say new query okay that'll pop up a new query make sure you've got your table or your, your database actually selected um, and then paste our select top 1000 um, rows back in again and then click this little button here execute okay and you'll see your tables come back okay um, so this is your very first um, SQL script instantly so uh, we've got it all on multiple lines here but you don't have to have it on multiple lines um, you can put it all on one line like this and uh, it may, it's just a bit easier for me to read it when I, when I put it all on one line I find anyway okay so select top 1000 rows you know just select top two rows you know you can edit this to uh, three um, name ID so these are the columns so we're saying select the top three um, from name ID and quantity from our database and then there's our database and then there's our table okay so if we executed that now again you can see our table down here um, if we change this three to one the reason why this hasn't changed is because we've only got two records but uh, to show that if we change our top to one now execute the script you'll see we've only got one line um, again we can take out two of the columns here and just leave name in there for example and then um, change our top to two so we get both uh, names and then hit execute and then you'll see you've just got the names now so that's quite handy okay so there's a little bit of database manipulation for you um, today we've covered um, getting a hold of a copy of SQL Server Express we've covered creating uh, installing SQL Server Express and we've covered creating a database uh, and a very simple table with some uh, simple data so I hope you found that useful and uh, in our next tutorial um, I'm going to show you how to actually connect to this database using Microsoft Excel um, and then start to um, add delete and uh, create tables and uh, values within that uh, database stroke table okay until then take care bye